Things I do for my girl, you don't wanna know, no She want the rhythm and blues, anything we go make her come give me the juice I got myself a Caribbean girl, Nigerian Caribbean girl Where where you do me, every time you vibe be like movie Honestly I'm feeling loosey, I don't wanna talk when she's moving Got me looking stupid when she whines, I'ma get me that shit, yeah I'ma get me that shit, yeah you look Chinese. <laughs> I don't know. That was good to kill. Black China. Yeah. No, but sorry, man. Um, uh, it's all about the music, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, uh yeah. you go passport. You go football. You're not going to question you. Football. Yeah, so 18. Uh, uh, we give you 18 for football. You know, no question. Now, but we play me. I'm excited. All right, well, you welcome to the show. Finally. Yeah, um, uh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Toby Lolo for being patient. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, uh, now you got a song that I've been blasting since last year, yeah. right? And I think it's great. Right? And you also have an EP. Um, uh, it's called Girls. Girls only. Girls only. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I forgot the only, but you know, I just thought maybe you might want to add more things <laughs> than girls. You know, like water, food, shelter, clothing, <laughs> the basic amenity. But if it's girls only, and I guess you could talk. Yeah, for real. I'm <laughs> All right, now, um, uh, why did you decide to call the EP that? Um, a, a lot of reasons, honestly. But basically, that has always been in my mind, like, for a very long time. Like, I just wanted to do something for my girls, you know, because... So have you been doing something for your guys before? <laughs> yeah, I'm just asking. My, my, my long-time friends that I found, sorry, they actually know what's up. They know, like, I've been doing a lot stuff for them and they still appreciate that thanks to my guys best I must song. say I like I like how you're best. It's it's a weird combination. It looks like a flashy pajamas. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's really fresh. It's, Thank you. Oh, let me snap on let me send a picture to me. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, my 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 father designer is about to take over this. <laughs> Alright now um uh, you've been here it's a new year. Uh -huh, Shay very much. You've been here, um, uh, it's definitely a new year, uh, you've got new plans, but I, I, I want to ask about the, the EP first. Since you released the EP, what has the, the reception been like? Everybody, everybody says, oh, everybody loves it, even mm -hmm. when I know that some people are lying. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? But yeah. what has the reception of the EP been like? Yeah, honestly, yeah. I did it, I wasn't expecting this much. My fans, cause I just I obviously want to drop something, you know. Just it's been a while that I actually dropped it. I've never dropped a project like it's my first one. Yeah. So I was nervous. I didn't even know what to expect, obviously. Mm. And everybody, they they kind of have their own vibe. They kind of have their own favorite like, song. Their favorite song. Yeah. Like, some people say I like this more than this. Some people say I like that over this. But what was that. the lead single to the EP? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Why did you guys choose water? What do you think stood out for water? It's, it's actually different. I felt I felt the the difference from the instrumental to the vibe. Like there's I don't think there's anything like that for now. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's just me. I just felt like that song is obviously different. I'm like, getting it. Talking to you and looking at you, I'm getting it. Hey, Mr. Easy Creative man. <laughs> do you do you what, what do you think about Mr. Easy as a artist oh, and a businessman? That guy inspired me. Like business wise, I love I love how he does his thing. Like obviously. Do you like his business or you don't like his music? No, no, no. Both <laughs> ways. I I said he inspired nah, me. I said you inspired me a lot. Mr. Easy yeah. came up really nice, real big. Like nobody was expecting that vibe. Still still doing it yeah, big. Still doing it big. big. Now um uh, what, what's it called? with your music how far do you think you would go right now that is not um it's not to sound as an insulting question mm -hmm. i'm talking about how long you decide to dedicate to you know the growth of this sound yeah as far as this goes on i don't care how long it's gonna take i'm just gonna keep doing this because it's a part of me i can't let it go obviously i can't let it go even yeah people i, I might not be I don't know how to put it because I, I don't get really social a lot of times. I just want to, you know, do whatever makes me comfortable in my own comfort zone. 
like in terms of like cartoon. Yeah. You know, but still that vibe in that recording because I produce my stuff too. I sing oh, wow. and all that, so wow. I'm just gonna keep doing that as far as. So you you produce then you sing. Yeah. If you weren't an artist slash no artist and producer, yeah. What else would you be doing? Probably be cooking. Is that we cook? <laughs> you do not tell you no uh, uh, you look it's not mentioned that one now. You have sent me the address. Uh uh-uh. uh me that I'm looking for food. Why are you doing like this? Uh, uh, that, um uh, what's it called? Now you produce and you make music. Do you do that separately or you do that just uh, together for just music. yourself? Well just myself obviously because I, I started produce, producing about maybe three four years ago. Two years ago. ago yeah. Mm. But I've always been singing like since 2012, professional, professional, going to the studio. Like, I started, I, I entered my, I did my first session in 2012. Since then, back to back, I've been doing it low key on my own. And then I started to go into the music production. And turn out great. I think that's lovely. So I'm going to play Water um, uh, in particular, right? And um, uh, there's a video to the song. Yeah. Yes. Who shot the video? Director Chidibe. Huh? How easy was it making the video? Oh, it wasn't easy. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> he remember, ah. he said no. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I see it. I'm big. I don't do it. Do it. What was that? What part was that? Tell me. I, I was stressed. Like I was tired already. But they still want me to come and do my thing. But still, yeah. Nobody could tell. I was just there smiling deep down. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was exhausted. But it's the grind, bro. Right? Yeah, I yeah? gotta do it. I ain't got no choice. Yeah, nice. Alright man, so let's play the song and let's get back uh, to more talk about you as an artist. Can you produce this yourself? This is oh, 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 Gosh, you give me all these parts, you know And I try to mess with your mind I know they lie, I'm a type, you know Girl, I do want to do it Like you put the jazz on my tico Cause I don't talk like I'm in the deep up And if you love me, I'm a poly girl I'm a singer, I'm a man for me, oh And I'm a boy, 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 to send yeah, fine yeah, you, know? Right. you know so it's like nah man i'm not gonna do that here yeah. nah i like that I like, so i get i get this one day cold mm. vibe yeah, and the hunger number. and the jump that's my number. Do you know what I want? yeah you were you ever influenced by him yeah every time that's that's my number one artist in nigeria i got i got i got i got three artists that i really love so much um one day cold whiskey boom boom Mm. So if you had a chance to make music with these three people, hey, but you had to pick one, who would it be? Had to pick just one. But I don't forget that you know, as much as there's the love part of it, and there's the quality of the song, yeah. there's also the business. The business. Part. You know? So who would you who would you pick? From these three, ah, just yeah, one. No, it's gonna one. Be, obviously, honestly, it's gonna be between whiskey and Bono Boy. Why? Because they're hard at the moment. Ah, hard. <laughs> Like, so what, what, what about what about David O? Uh, David, I like David. He's 
business wise, yeah, he's, he's a good artist. Mm. And the, the kind of vibe he drops, like, obviously, he, it's kind of, I don't know, upcoming artists should learn from him because that guy is a great artist. Like, he's the only artist in Nigeria that, that works with a lot of songwriters and he's, he's still at the top of his game, obviously, mm. honestly. I think I think I think that's yeah. that was a very intelligent. A couple, yeah. a couple of artists want to do everything by their, by themselves, but it's not like that. People you try to copy, they don't do their things like that. It's true. They just hide the truth. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, uh, that aside, that aside, with the EP, um, so far, are you planning on uh, releasing uh, a video for any of the other songs? Yeah. Oh, a couple, but no love. No love is a single. Yeah, I, I dropped that last year, and I still want to do a video, f video for that too, very soon. And um, let's see, maybe Kamaya. I like Kamaya. I like Fumi. I like all these songs, obviously, honestly. So I why, mean, why, wait? Let, let let me ask you this. First things first, are you signed as an artist? Yeah, yeah you're signed to Naki Music. Naki Music, good. Because I was gonna ask you, please, who is Naki Music? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Come on, man. Um, all right, I now, so you're signed to Naki Music, right? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, when, when did this happen? Yeah, 2017. Yeah, we've been doing it low key. Like. Wait, you're Naki music? <laughs> what? We've been doing it low key. We? Yeah. Oh, now, now get the record label. <laughs> ah, that's like, good. Uh, that's, 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 some, that's some creative <laughs> business stuff. No, that's that's fine. Mm -hmm. Why not? You the bad guy. <laughs> Faz is the only bad guy signed artist, I believe, mm -hmm. so far. <laughs> it's Faz, was there anybody? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think so. No. Yeah, and he's doing great. I'm not sure <laughs> he's doing fantastic. I'm not sure they signed him either, so. Who? Files. Bad guy. Bad guy records. Now you can get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I just said. An independent label. No. <laughs> yeah, you say? I said it's an independent label. It's an independent, yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. Make so sure. so is yours, right? Yeah, now, which makes a lot of sense. But um, uh, that aside, are you looking on you know, signing any other artists? Ah, uh, no. Not for now. Not for now, yeah. Not for now. Anybody, do you think people call you selfish? <laughs> now, just ask me a question. Go and meet Whiskey to sign you if it is. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so, okay, so I see this. I see what you're doing. It's like Gujo Pio. Okay. It's Gujo Pio, I'll be calling you from today. <laughs> if I see you anywhere, if you don't hear Gujo Pio from somewhere, I don't know if that's the right pronunciation of that particular oh, Korean character. I don't watch all this. I don't watch it either, but I have sisters oh, that worry yeah. my life. Yeah, so when they come over, that's all they want to do. I have a friend that started speaking in Korea for no reason. From watching this thing? This thing, like, yeah, I just share something like that. Well, it's alright, it's alright, well, good, well, good. We're well, okay with two people. Okay, and the Telemundo people too, they're separate. Mm -hmm. But that's alright. Mm -hmm. Now, um, uh, well, um, talking about talking about music and how it has evolved, and it would keep evolving, mm -hmm. right? Um, uh, in the last, in the last, um, Roughly six years, six or seven years, you've had um, about three, four, if not five different sounds mm -hmm. that do not sound alike, taking the center stage, you know, yeah. the bomb bomb to the the shaku shaku to yeah. everybody, yeah. Yeah. different sound, different vibes yeah. and stuff. And then now it seems like the the music business has slowed stuff down a lot more, and surprisingly, you're even on that level already. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So, how exactly do you think you fit in with the current music structure in Nigeria? Uh, I don't know. It, I, the, I don't think people really know what they like until they see or hear it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Until you see, you might be like, no, I can't do this thing. Until you get convinced. So, there are different sounds coming up every day. Like, now my piano is going on now. Yeah, no, I no, think we'll snatch the sound yeah, too. Yeah, imagine uh, Omale he came up during Corona. Nobody was even expecting something like that would happen. So it's like a big sky. Like everybody's gonna fly in at the end of the day. Big enough for all again. of us. Yeah. Okay, I love that. Now, um, uh, there's too much. There's too much to talk about. Now, as a person, um, you already said you know you're an introvert to a very large extent. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, uh, you rather just cook yourself up like you cook your beats, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, and make music. But do you produce for other people? Yeah, I work with friends. I work with friends. 
friends. Yeah. Only family and friends. No. I, I don't think I really want to do. It's not a career. Thing. It's no, just no, something you love just doing. Just something I love doing because it's stressful. Honestly, honestly, it's stressful. You can't blend everything together just like that, and you expect to work out magically. From your standpoint, I had this conversation with someone. It was a very long argument with different facts. Mm -hmm. But from your own standpoint, mm -hmm. they say a producer, a singer who also is a producer, mm -hmm. understands how to make music for themselves best. Yeah. Is that true from the technical aspect? Oh, well, we know how to steal our own beats, like the good beats. We know how to steal those ones. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> when you make that the so best you know sound, the vibe to yeah, yeah, like, oh, this sound, yeah. Obviously, honestly, when I make beats for myself, when I make song for myself, I like calm vibes, even when it's I like it cool. I know where to, you know, do a little bit of this and that. Mm. Yeah, it's it's like that. But have you ever have you ever been in a situation where you dash somebody beat? You can't go sing rubbish on top. Ah, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you get one. You get one. Even no love, there was the bit of something like that that almost happened on the beat I used for no love. Yeah. There was, ah, yeah, you're not doing what I. Let me use my thing like but did that. But you, you tell him or her. You know. <laughs> we are obviously here on the radio or something. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, um, uh, that aside, um, uh, it's not about the production. Yeah, it is about the production to a certain extent, but it is more about the music. Now, um, uh, according to, I mean, because definitely on all on digital platforms, right? Mm -hmm. According to the numbers you've seen so far, yeah. which would you think is, which would you say is the fans' favorite? What I obviously So, so you guys were right in the selection of the song. Abi? Just That's what it means, right? What what that is it's got more numbers obviously I'm just looking at the chart and all. Is it cause it's is it cause it's a single? It was a single it, for the EP? Yeah yeah yeah. It, it dropped as a single first before the EP. So which song is your favorite from the EP? Your own personal favorite? Yeah. Well no, like let me see three. Um, no, you guys like one past all of them now. I don't feel if I hear one, I won't hear the next one, I won't hear that. Those three are all like. I love Pamaya, I love Water, and I love Fumi a lot. Okay. And I love. This, these songs are. Because I get messages from friends like they love this, they love that, they love this. Like almost all the songs on the EP get its own Different listeners. People. So I think all the songs are great. Okay, shout out to my friends. Nice. So, um, 2020 was it was fantastic for Nigerian music. I dare say, um, I don't think there's been any year in Nigerian music that produced that much albums mm -hmm. by A-list artists all in one year. A-list, B-list, C-list. In short, F-list said they drop album. We we know even. Mm -hmm. uh, I apologize, but F-list they drop album mm -hmm. too. Do you know everybody dropped an album? So. Do you think you're gonna, you know, uh, emulate that style? Would there be an album coming from you this year, or is it another EP? Yeah, I wanna. I'm in mean between dropping another EP or an album. I don't know which. Um, I'm right in the middle of the crossroad. I don't know where to turn for that. Mm. Another EP, maybe just a three-track EP or straight to the album. I'm still yet to decide because I have some. I'm, I was thinking girls only two, something like that. Okay. <laughs> Nobody died from two girls. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Uh, we're smoking for a bit. We gotta go pay some bills. We'll be right back. Do not go anywhere. I got Lade in the studio. Lade vibes. Is it Lade vibes or Lade? AKA Lade vibes. Okay. All right. Now, um, uh, we've spoken about pretty much almost everything, right? But um, I always ask everyone who said who's had the opportunity to sit on that chair yeah. right, for an interview, uh, this particular question. So, um, you spoke about having to make music uh, or you know, really getting into the studio to make music back in 2012. Mm -hmm. right, now, I'm sure at that point in time, you knew exactly what you wanted, but how to go about it was a bit hazy, yeah. right? And now, it's like the vision is clearer, yeah. right? Uh, you're signed to a label, uh, well, yeah, you're signed to a label, Naki Music, mm -hmm. yeah, um, uh, and all of that stuff. And it seems to be going good. You just dropped an EP and stuff like that. Okay. But then there's still a lot of people that um, are currently where you were in 2012. 
So how would you how would you advise them and their move? Because the music industry has changed since 2012. Oh, you got know, Apple Music, YouTube Music, Deezer, Spotify, mm-hmm. all of this, uh, these things, Thriller, yeah. uh, Instagram, yeah. TikTok, TikTok, and I, all of it. It's time to give. You know, so 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 it's like, what would you tell a new artist mm-hmm. trying to get out there? Uh, just keep doing your thing. Obviously, like it's it's not easy. I remember back in the days, we used to sleep on the floor. Yeah, it's like Uncle Tell. Like we used to be in the studio yeah. and all that. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Shout out okay. to shout Tell to, us about that, man. Shout out to Mr. Javlani. Come like, on. He, he took us That's in. That's the. Uh, he took me in. That's the producer. Oh, yeah, the producer, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so the producer at the time mm-hmm. took you and Zlatan took in. Me in. Oh, took, took me in. Or took you in. in. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, obviously, Zlatan was with us, like everybody. You guys just make music together, vibe, yeah, and yeah, you know. Yeah. Were you a rapper too that year? No. You never rapped? I, I did. Yeah, obviously. I did. You know, uh, it wasn't like that. I know you're a rapper kind of rap. Oh, okay. Like okay. running in the state you know, every day, something like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So, That's... as an upcoming artist, it wasn't easy, tough. Like, many times, the back for shows, I'm not mm. You don't even go shows, we didn't invite you, you don't go to perform. I want to yeah. like a lot, a lot. So we just gotta keep doing it, bro. Don't forget. There are, co- there are a lot of distractions, a lot of distractions on the way, but just keep focus and don't forget God. That's mm. important. Word. Word. I like how you put that. I like how you put that. Because some people just come here, when I ask them, they say, um, so you just keep working hard, pray to God, everything will be fine. And it's like they share it on the same WhatsApp group chat because <laughs> another like 20 other people will come and say that. It's not fine. Nothing is fine. It's tough, hard. Yeah? It's tough and hard. There are a couple of lucky ones that, you know, they just put out their full stuff and boom. And it just gets in. Yeah. Yeah. But everybody, every, everybody's obviously not the same. Yeah. You can't be the same. That's just, I don't know. I don't care. Okay. Much. okay. <laughs> All right. Now, how can they follow you on social media? Yeah, you can follow me on my Instagram at LadiVibes, L-A-D-E-V-I-B-A-Z. And also on Twitter at LadiVibes. I don't know about TikTok and the rest. It's hard to get on all these things at once. Like, I don't know how some people do it. In the morning, they're on TikTok, in the afternoon trailer. Yeah, and at night. <laughs> Instagram like. <laughs> God help me. Uh, you'll be yeah. fine. You'll be fine guys. at some point. You'll be fine. You got like, what? You're in the studio and you got like, what? Seven cameras now. <laughs> yeah. At some point, you'll find one for TikTok. Oh, uh, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through. I appreciate your presence. Uh, don't forget to follow him. That's at Lady Vibes. Uh, the EP is out. Girls Only. Mm-hmm. It's called Girls Only. Go check it out. Um, uh, I love the sound. You should love the sound as well. Um, as I said, L A D E V I B E. And the letter Z. Yeah, a lot of people say Z, Z. but my Z brother, I have the people, my brother, now Z they teach me too, yeah, but you know, <laughs> you know, you upgrade it to Z, but Z. then when you are important stuff, <laughs> like you're asking for your account number and they Z inside, you will say it's Z. Z. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, thank you so much for coming through, like You're welcome, bless. for me, anywhere I did, she go for me. I'm a girl, I like the way you do me.